All right, what's up? So welcome to week two. Last week we talked about you getting your ass into the gym. One of the hardest battles for some people. Just get there. These next couple weeks we're going to start talking about the details of lifting. Okay? So that you have as little questions as possible and you can execute as well as you can as soon as you step foot in the gym. Now, this might be common knowledge, but I feel like I need to go over it anyway, just in case this is brand new to you. And if it's brand new to you, that's awesome. So every single workout is broken up into sets. Every set is broken up into reps. So if I was assigning myself curls, this is one rep, okay? If I do 12 reps to the point where my biceps are tired, that's one set. Sometimes we will give you guys straight sets. Straight sets is where you do one exercise, you take a break, you go back to the second set, you take a break, you go back to the third set, and then you move on. It's just doing one exercise at a time. Oftentimes, we will give you guys supersets. Supersets is just two exercises where you go back to back. And we do that mostly because it tends to cut down on the time you're in the gym and it makes you efficient with the time that you have. We try to keep your workouts between 45 and 60 minutes. Okay, other ways we can program your workouts, triceps, three exercises. And then lastly, there's something called a quad set or a giant set, which is four exercises, which you might also see. Now, your sets can be broken up into repetitions, like I just told you about, or they can be broken up into time. Regardless, you will usually have some sort of rest period in between. Sometimes it'll be 30 seconds, sometimes it'll be 60 seconds, sometimes it'll be two to three minutes, depending on what we're assigning you. Usually, if it's a bigger muscle group, and it's a big compound movement, where you're using multiple joints at once, like a squat, we'll give you a little bit more time after your set, so that you can recover because you're most likely going to be out of breath. But if it's something like a bicep curl where you're just working one muscle, we'll probably give you less time. Now, your sets times your reps equals what we call volume. Okay, that's the amount of work that you've done over the course of the entire day. Our goal for you is to increase your volume as time goes on. So you'll notice, maybe you won't, but we do because we program your stuff. We're gonna be giving you more sets per month as the program goes by. One week you might do 25, 30 sets, but then two or three months later, you might be doing 40, 45 sets over the course of the week. And the reason why we wanna do that is because that's what's going to help you get stronger. There's, there's really two main ways to get stronger in the gym. One is by adding more weight to your lifts, and the other one is to add more volume to your workouts. Okay, there's a difference between giving your quadriceps three sets a week versus 10 reps a week. I'm sorry, ten, three sets a week versus 10 sets a week because 10 sets a week is going to tear the muscle fibers more, which means when you eat protein and sleep, they'll grow back stronger. And so we don't wanna start you off with six workouts a week because that's, un, that's unattainable for someone that's brand new, but our goal is to up the ante as time goes on because you're either growing or you're done. It's one or the other. So that's our plan for you. That's the breakdown between reps and sets. I will see you in week three's module.